Today's news highlights. D2024-05-28. Time cut off, 1700 hours. News title, Eggs Lose. This food has higher protein content get enough protein with one picture. Publication date, May 27, 2024. Source, Health 2.0. Key points, protein can be obtained not only from eggs and meat but also from vegetarian sources. A 60 gram egg contains 7 grams of protein, while 25 grams of black beans provide the same amount of protein. For low activity office workers, it is recommended to consume 1.1 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily, which means a 50 kilogram person needs 55 grams of protein per day. Vegetarians can obtain protein from beans, such as black beans, edamame, tofu products, such as tofu, fried tofu, soy milk, and other vegetarian products, such as seedan, baked gluten, vegetarian chicken. News title, Tan Dun C's controlled diet and regular exercise still led to high cholesterol. The toxin-free goddess identifies the cause and normalizes cholesterol. Publication date, May 27, 2024. Source, Health 2.0. Key points, Tan Dun C.I. focuses on a healthy diet and regular exercise but experienced high cholesterol due to hypothyroidism. After supplementing with thyroid hormones, her cholesterol levels returned to normal. Dr. K. Bing Hong from Chi Dalin Zutshi Hospital explains that hypothyroidism slows down metabolism, causing cholesterol to accumulate, a common issue in postmenopausal women. Nearly 10% of women over 50 have hypothyroidism and should get timely checkups. Additionally, chronic diseases like diabetes and chronic kidney disease can affect cholesterol metabolism, increasing cardiovascular disease risk, which requires management through exercise and medication. News headline, representing the American people's strong support for Taiwan. Release time. May 27, 2024. Data reference, The Epoch Times. News highlights, McCall, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives, led a cross-party congressman to visit Taiwan and paid a visit to President Lai Ching-ti to express his strong support for Taiwan. Lai Qing thanked the United States for its firm support and emphasized that it will promote national defense reform and enhance defense capabilities. McCall expressed his love for Taiwan in Chinese, reiterated the bipartisan support for Taiwan in the U.S. Congress, and emphasized the commitment to Taiwan on the 45th anniversary of the Taiwan Relations Act. McCall pointed out that Taiwan is an engine of innovation for democratic countries, and the United States will continue to support Taiwan to resist authoritarian expansion and maintain regional peace and prosperity. News headline, China's industrial policies threaten the global economy. Release time, May 27, 2024. Data reference, The Epoch Times. News highlights, French finance minister Bruno Le Maire pointed out that China's glut of cheap exports threatens the global economy and this problem needs to be solved. The G7 finance minister's meeting criticized China's overcapacity, saying it harmed workers and economic flexibility in various countries. G7 officials will consider measures to ensure fair competition. U.S. President Biden has raised tariffs on Chinese imports, and EU commerce and manufacturing minister Urso suggested that the EU follow the United States to protect its own industries, especially the automotive industry. L.E. Mayor emphasized at the meeting the need to strengthen information exchange and conduct a joint assessment of the CCP's policies. News headline, Chinese e-commerce companies compete for overseas markets at low prices and may become a target. Release time, May 26, 2024. Data reference, The Epoch Times. News highlights, since 2022, China's cross-border e-commerce has grown rapidly around the world, triggering questions from European and American countries about its avoidance of tariffs, dumping, environmental protection, intellectual property rights, and labor exploitation. Experts point out that China's cross-border e-commerce relies on government subsidies and low-price strategies to expand overseas markets, but there are problems with product quality and data security. The United States and the European Union have begun taking measures to respond, such as raising tariffs and implementing new regulations. In the future, these e-commerce platforms may face stricter supervision and challenges. News headline, How to Wash Bed Sheets to Sterilize and Remove Mites. Biologists teach you four tips. Release time, May 27, 2024. Data reference, The Epoch Times. News highlights, bedding such as sheets and pillows may become a breeding ground for bacteria and mites, causing allergies. The sebum and sweat shed on the sheets provide food for microorganisms, and the appropriate humidity and temperature promote their growth. If your sheets are not washed for a long time, a large number of bacteria may accumulate. Cleaning methods include using detergent, washing with hot water, adding essential oils to drive away microorganisms, and keeping them dry. Regular cleaning and keeping dry are the most effective ways to prevent the growth of microorganisms. Title, Super High-Rise Building to Implement Seismic Isolation. Taipei Twin Towers Adopts Asia Cement Concrete, Why the Emphasis on 500 Meters. Date published, 
May 27, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Key Points, The Taipei Twin Towers, located in the Western District of Taipei, are super tall buildings attracting attention for their seismic resistance. The key to Asia Cement's precast concrete lies in 500 meters. With a high-performance seismic concrete strength of up to 12,000 pounds, it can be pumped up to a height of 500 meters and remain uncollapsed for 120 minutes, significantly enhancing the building's seismic resistance. This concrete avoids segregation phenomena, enhances the protection of steel reinforcement by concrete cover, and strengthens the building's robustness. This high-quality concrete plays a crucial role in facing natural phenomena such as earthquakes, making it essential for the safety of super-high-rise buildings. Title, Date and Score Conversion Strategy for the 113 Subject Test What's Different from the General Scholastic Ability Test? Date Published, May 27, 2024 Source, Commonwealth Magazine Key Points the 113 subject test will take place on July 12 and 13, less than two months away from the exam. Unlike the general scholastic ability test, the subject test differs by reducing the number of subjects to seven, mathematics A, physics, chemistry, biology, geography, history, and civics, while eliminating Chinese, English, and mathematics B. Additionally, the subject test still has a full score of 100 points but adopts a grading system with each subject having a maximum of 60 grading points calculated by dividing the average score of the top 1% of examinees by 60. The scores of the subject test will be combined with those of the general scholastic ability test and converted into a 60-grade system as the basis for university admissions. Title, Why did Qian Feng agree with Huang Jensun's view, AI superpower is making countries without AI capabilities disappear? Date published, May 27, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Key Points, Qian Feng former general manager of Google Taiwan, pointed out that Taiwan should find a unique position in the development of generative AI. The focus should be on AI technology from weaknesses and pay attention to channel competition. Huang Jensun's argument suggests that countries lacking AI capabilities will be eliminated. For industries, Taiwan should focus on the development of edge AI, companies need to continue exploring AI application spaces, individuals should bravely use AI. Future attention should be paid to the GPT-5 model, the merger of Microsoft and OpenAI and AI service satisfaction. Despite its imperfections, AI still requires brave exploration and advancement. Title, Threads, Beloved by Taiwanese Youth, Second Only to the United States. Learn the latest three tips and tricks. Date published, May 27, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Key points, Threads has become the favorite social platform for Taiwanese youth, with traffic second only to the United States, making it a must-learn for Taiwan's internet generation. Three essential tricks include, 1. Hiding sensitive keywords to customize the filtering of uninteresting content. 2. Managing quoted posts to control who can quote your posts, improving interaction quality. 3. Comment frequency is more effective than posting frequency, influencers like Jamei on threads respond to comments frequently, increasing interaction with non-influencer users and attracting fans. Title, Songstress Jam Shio defies illness to affirm, Taiwan is a democratic country, I'm proud. Netizens applaud her integrity. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, amid recent assertions by Chinese state media denying Taiwan's statehood, prompting some Taiwanese artists to echo the sentiment, acclaimed songstress Jam Shio, despite battling illness, boldly declares, Taiwan is a democratic country, and I'm proud to have grown up in this land. I'm a Taiwanese boy born in Shita Township, Zhanghua County. I'm proud, and I'm grateful. Her steadfast stance earns widespread praise online, hailed as a person of integrity. Title, Inside the Legislature, Green Party's Lying Flat Scene Revealed. Fu Kunchi Turns into a Cowboy, Swinging Little Black Cloth. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, During today's legislative session continuing the review of five parliamentary reform bills, both Blue and Green Party factions vie for the Speaker's podium, but the atmosphere remains relatively calm with a focus on propaganda rather than physical altercations. Green legislators resort to human card placement to secure positions and plaster banners emphasizing democratic values, while blue counterparts display placards condemning corruption and opposing Green Party proposals. The clash of propaganda intensifies, creating a tense atmosphere. Title, Police Seek Answers in Another Tragic Incident 25-year-old Deputy Chief of Zodong Police Station takes own life with gunshot to head, falling behind office desk. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, the deputy chief of Zodong Police Station's new city police station, surname Lin, was found dead early this morning, having taken his own life with a gunshot in the office area. 
Initial police investigations reveal no signs of foul play. Lin, only 25 years old and a graduate of the police academy, was known for his optimistic and proactive nature, leaving colleagues shocked and saddened. Authorities are scrutinizing his phone records and messaging apps to ascertain the cause of death. The incident occurred during the station's closed hours, potentially prompted by a report from Lin's girlfriend. He was the only child in the family, with his father serving as deputy chief at a police station in Taichung. Title, Jessica's secret meeting with Cindy Wong in Taiwan, indulging in high-end teppanyaki and overnight stay at a five-star hotel. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, former lead singer of K-pop girl group Girls' Generation, Jessica, arrived in Taiwan to endorse the Ms. Mai brand, arriving two days in advance. She worked in a recording studio after checking into the Mandarin Oriental Hotel and later enjoyed high-end teppanyaki dinner with her friend Cindy Wong at the Taipei Marriott Hotel. They parted ways after visiting a photography studio. Jessica's schedule was packed with work, leaving no time for sightseeing. Title, Huang Rongsun spotted at Dumpling House. Generously leaves four-digit tip after enjoying meal, must try dishes revealed. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, NVIDIA CEO Huang Rongsun, upon arrival in Taiwan, not only attended to business matters but also savored Taiwanese cuisine, visiting renowned restaurants including a dumpling house. He graciously posed for photos with the public and left a $1,000 tip after dining, leading the restaurant to excitedly share the photo online. Wang's trip reportedly includes meetings with industry heavyweights such as TSMC executives. Title, Goodbye to Cheating National Athlete. Lin Xiang teammate Lin Lin allegedly cut ties with Lin Tingqian. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Highlights, Taiwan national basketball team player Lin Tingqian was embroiled in controversy for allegedly engaging in a one-night stand in China, causing a sensation. Rumors suggest that his girlfriend and Wei Chuan Dragonet's cheerleader Lin Lin has ended their relationship. Screenshots of their conversation reveal Lin begging for Lin's forgiveness, professing his love and apologizing, but Lin coldly responds, it's too late, indicating a breakup. Lin Tingqian, a 24-year-old basketball prodigy, currently plays in the CBA with an annual salary of NT$26.6 million. Title, Residence Question, How Could a Multi-Million Luxury Home Be Like This? Published Time, May 28, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Highlights, A family of four rescued from the building, the father pleaded, Please let my children breathe oxygen first. In panic, stuffing towels into the door gap and hiding on the balcony for about 10 hours, residents questioned why the minor fire could not exhaust the thick smoke, feeling incredulous. A resident revealed that the thick smoke was originally white, but later the floor was covered in black ash and tar, puzzled by the situation. A resident on the 25th floor said that when the fire broke out, the building immediately lost power, thick smoke entered the room, and the family of four hid on the balcony. During that time, they could not enter the room, and after firefighters rescued them, they washed the trapped people with saline solution. Title, Heavy Rain Strikes. Mealy underpass flooded, driver forces through and car destroyed. Published time, May 28, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Highlights, as a front passed through, the Central Weather Bureau issued heavy rain alerts for 16 counties and cities including Taichung and Shinchu, heavy thunderstorms appeared in Taichung City and Mili County. The underpass on Section 1 of Huangxi Road in Zinan, Mili, was flooded. Some drivers did not notice the flooding in the underpass, and their cars were trapped and almost submerged, forcing the driver to escape. Other areas also experienced heavy rain disasters, including flooding in the Zinan Guangfu North Underpass, Kuahua Road and the Tongfeng Underpass in Tufen heading towards Zinan. The affected areas include Shinshu City, Shinshu County, Mili County and Taichung City. The Meteorological Bureau reminds to pay attention to lightning strikes, strong gusts of wind, and warns mountainous areas to guard against collapses and falling rocks, while low-lying areas should guard against flooding. Title, Without Me, No You Classmates Stir Up Trouble, Lu Yura explosively refuses to share the stage with Yang Heioru. Published Time May 28, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Highlights, Lu Yura suddenly announced her divorce, later fell out with Yang Heioru. Recently invited to classmates, she found Yang Heioru also there, immediately argued with the staff, the production unit apologized and paid her appearance fee to leave. The feud between the two started when Yang Heioru revealed Lu Yura's relationship with the producer on a show, while Lu Yura accused Yang Heioru of undermining her relationship with Hua Hua. Yang Heioru retaliated by belittling Lu Yura's marital happiness prompting Lu Yura to respond and criticize her level. In this dispute, the production unit chose to appease Lu Yura, providing her with an appearance fee and reimbursing transportation expenses. Title, Parking Attendant Scares Off Visitors Viral photo of new Taipei parking lot attendant, too spooky. 
Publish time, May 28, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Highlights, a netizen shared a photo on Facebook, capturing a security guard sitting in the security room, wearing a smile, but it was later discovered that the guard was actually a large human-shaped photo. Netizens expressed surprise, with some saying even the security guard is spared, finding the image of the security guard eerie. It was later found that the security guard was actually a human-shaped cardboard placed on a chair, eliciting more humorous responses from netizens, with some mentioning similar labor-saving scenes seen elsewhere. This comical situation was quite amusing. Title, May Days We Chinese Incident Sparks Backlash Ashen Breaks Silence After Three Days, Thousands Comment Publish Time, May 28, 2024 Source, Yahoo News Highlights, During May Day's concert at the Beijing Bird's Nest, Ashen's slip of the tongue saying we Chinese sparked controversy over cross-strait political sensitivity, with many Taiwanese fans expressing disappointment. After remaining silent on social media for several days, Ashen finally appeared and responded to a post from a fashion brand partner, mentioning his experience in Beijing. This statement immediately sparked heated discussion among netizens, with many expressing their stance on his remarks. Ashen's previous we Chinese statement sparked controversy among netizens, with some vowing to boycott, but others advocating for separating music and politics sparking intense debates between the two sides. Title, Persistent Coughing, Unexplained Fever Top 10 Cancer Warning Signs to be Mindful of, National Health Bureau, Must Go to Hospital for Checkup Published Time, May 28, 2024 Source, Yahoo News Highlights, Cancer continues to be the leading cause of death among Taiwanese people, early detection and treatment can improve survival rates. The National Health Bureau has listed the top 10 cancer warning signs, including changes in bowel and urinary habits, non-healing wounds, abnormal bleeding, etc., urging people to seek medical attention if they have concerns. Director General Wu Chaochun urged regular screening to improve treatment effectiveness and increase survival rates. Free 5 cancer screenings are available for high-risk groups, including screenings for cervical, breast, colorectal, oral, and lung cancer. The World Health Organization points out that 30-50% to 50 of cancers can be prevented by avoiding smoking, alcohol, unhealthy diets, and lack of exercise cultivating good lifestyle habits to effectively prevent cancer. Title, AI 10-Year Trends, Biggest Beneficiary Not NVIDIA, but Broadcom. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Liberty Times Electronic News. Highlights, Broadcom stock price continues to soar, particularly benefiting from the global increase in demand for AI. Broadcom has recently made new advancements in the AI chip field, including acquiring new customer orders and launching customized chips focused on high speed high-bandwidth AI applications. Its AI-related business revenue is expected to reach $10 billion in 2024, and Broadcom is also strengthening its presence in the AI software field through acquisitions like WeRide. Analysts point out that with its strength in both chips and software, Broadcom will continue to be a beneficiary of the AI wave and maintain a competitive advantage over the next 20 years. Title, Braving Heavy Rain to Oppose Parliament's Expansion Civic Groups Call for Review and Restart of Dialogue Published Date, May 28, 2024 Source, Liberty Times Electronic News Highlights, the Legislative Yuan continued its review of the parliamentary expansion bill today, prompting over 50 civic groups to call on people to gather and protest, even in the face of heavy rain. Despite the downpour, hundreds of citizens braved the rain to loudly proclaim their defense of grassroots democracy. The Economic Democracy Union pointed out that this is the fourth consecutive large-scale gathering, with over 100,000 citizens participating, expressing dissatisfaction with the parliamentary power abuses. Civic groups demanded an end to the majority's violent suppression in Parliament, upholding the spirit of consensus, and preventing the blue and white parties from monopolizing decision-making. The Executive Yuan was urged to request a review, compensating for the previously confiscated democratic deliberation space. Civic groups also called for grassroots democracy, restarting societal dialogue, avoiding extremism and maintaining mutual understanding to uphold democratic values. Title, Comparing April and May Polls, Li Zhengao major collapse in three key demographics for the People's Party. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, Liberty Times Electronic News. Highlights, the push for the Parliament expansion bill by the Blue and White Camp sparked tens of thousands to protest in front of the legislature against backroom deals. Lee jun a political talk show host, pointed out that in the April and May polls by the Beautiful Island Electronic News, support for the People's Party among the 20-29 age group, those with a university education or higher, and swing voters has plummeted across the board. Among the 20 to 29 age group, support decreased by 12.9%, while disapproval increased by 14.8%, causing significant impact. 
Li criticized the People's Party for underestimating the impact of the Bluebird action and ironically commented on Huang Qiuqing's behavior of supporting Fu Kunkai, leading to a sharp decline in support, describing its destructive power as unprecedented. News title, F-16V targeting J-16? Former Navy captain reveals concerns about potential data leakage. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, following the two-day Joint Sword 2024A exercise. Our Air Force showcased the latest AAQ-33 sniper pod equipped on F-16V fighters, targeting PLA J-16 and H-6 aircraft. PLA Eastern Theater Command released a video of J-20 stealth fighters. Former Navy Captain L. Ulishi raised questions to the Ministry of National Defense about potential electromagnetic parameter leaks from the F-16V during the exercise, sparking discussions and attention. L. Ulishi pointed out possible bias in military reports and inquired about infrared tracking systems and electromagnetic parameter leakage with the Ministry of National Defense. News title, Young People Unimpressed? Latest poll results on President Li Ching Te's inaugural speech. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, according to the latest poll by the Taiwan Public Opinion Foundation, President Li Ching Te's inaugural speech received an overall satisfaction rate of 51%, but the response from young people was relatively lukewarm. Analysis indicates that older individuals showed more enthusiasm towards the speech while those with higher education levels had a cooler response. Additionally, satisfaction with the speech was higher among Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, supporters compared to supporters of other parties. There is widespread agreement across various sectors regarding the statement the Republic of China and the People's Republic of China are not subordinate to each other. The poll results reflect Taiwan's views on President Lai's inaugural speech and cross-strait relations. News title, When Will TSMC Break the Thousand Mark? Expert suggests focus on this stock first. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, TSMC stock price has surged over 46% this year, reaching a historic high of NT$878. Market attention is focused on whether it will become a $1,000 stock, with predictions of potential impact from NVIDIA's market valuation. If NVIDIA's stock price remains above $1,000, TSMC may challenge the NT$900 and NT$1000 milestones. Positive sentiments from foreign investors and strong financial reports support its performance. TSMC's collaboration with major companies like Apple and NVIDIA, driven by increased demand for AI and its technological leadership, led to nearly 9% year-on-year profit growth in the first quarter, with an EPS of NT$8.7, reaching a new high for the same period in history. News title, You Can Also Take B Vitamins at Night. Taiwan FDA reveals four major benefits, including improving sleep disorders. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, the Taiwan Food and Drug Administration, FDA, points out that many people worry that taking B vitamins at night may affect sleep. However, in reality, B vitamins do not stimulate the central nervous system to stay alert, theoretically not affecting sleep but rather improving sleep disorders. B vitamins are essential vitamins for normal body function, aiding in energy conversion and nerve transmission. Deficiency may lead to a sense of insufficient energy. Studies show that supplementing B vitamins can improve fatigue, reduce the risk of dementia, improve sleep structure, and mood. News title, not only giving back to hometown Xuanzhou, May Day's Ashen reveals also donating 80 million to assist three counties and cities in Taiwan. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, May Day's lead singer Ashen mentioned at a concert in Beijing about Chinese people must eat roast duck when visiting Beijing and donating 9 million RMB to Xuanzhou, sparking discussions. He also mentioned May Day's charity concerts in multiple cities in Taiwan, with a total donation of about 85 million NTD. Ashen expressed concern about natural disasters in Taiwan, especially mentioning the Hualien earthquake, hoping to reduce disasters. He stated that the band is committed to making a difference in the world, bringing him great satisfaction. News title, Caught Red-Handed, All-Star Games Heartthrob Quietly Registers Lifelong Commitment at Household Registration Office. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source. China Times. Key points, May 21st became the auspicious day for marriage, with many couples choosing this day to register for marriage, including May Day's lead singer Ashen and his beautiful fiancé. Asen registered his marriage quietly at the Taipei Household Registration Office, with friends helping to take photos. Ashen was previously involved in scandals with internet celebrity Yushu and cheerleading goddess Chen Yiyi. Ashen performed outstandingly at the All-Star Games and is currently focusing on his entertainment and fitness coaching career. The management company confirmed Ashen's marriage but denied pregnancy, stating that the two decided to settle down because of their feelings for each other. News title, Thunder Continues in Taipei, Cheng Mingdian reveals two reasons for the torrential rain, 
cold air coming in the latter half of the day. Publish date, May 28, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points, today, strong southwest winds and frontal passage caused significant thunderstorms in central and southern Taiwan, with thunder in Taipei as well. Meteorological experts pointed out that after the passage of the front in the latter half of the day, the northeast monsoon will move southward, bringing cooler temperatures to northern Taiwan, with highs dropping to 21 to 26 degrees Celsius, while other areas will remain between 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. The frontal passage brings organized mesoscale convective systems, possibly accompanied by thunderstorms, hail, or sudden strong gusts. Subsequently, north winds will bring dry and cool air, gradually reducing rainfall and temperatures to a refreshing level. News title, Continuous Body Aches. Xie Jinyan reveals insider details of sisters who make waves 5 and acknowledges, covered in injuries. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Key Points Queen of Electronic Music Xie Jinyan recently participated in Breaking Waves 2024, Sisters Who Make Waves 5, Attracting Attention. She disclosed that participating was a challenge to herself at the age of 50, but on the early morning of the 27th, continuous practice led to body aches. In the program, she challenged herself and, despite the physical pain, still made efforts to complete the performance, stating that she felt covered in injuries but also felt like she had grown. Past injuries from a car accident resurfaced due to diligent dance practice, leading her to believe her entertainment career was over. However, after a doctor's diagnosis confirmed it was not a blood clot, she showed an extremely high level of professionalism. News title, Refusing to Face Death Top 3 Zodiac Signs Become Love Deserters, Escaping When Challenged Publish date, May 27, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Key points, Technology Purple Microweb named the Love Deserters Top 3 which includes Aquarius, Gemini, and Sagittarius. Aquarius tends to be cautious in relationships, often hiding emotions and avoiding expressing true feelings for fear of getting hurt. Gemini finds it difficult to focus on one person and may choose to give up under pressure, needing a backup plan for security. Sagittarius loves freedom but may choose to escape when faced with responsibility preferring to be single rather than bound by a relationship. These three zodiac signs exhibit avoidance behavior in love, a characteristic seen in conflicts and disputes. News title, J. Joe exposed for saying I'm Chinese multiple times, fan page exposes with images, no one has said it more. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Key points, Chinese official media CCTV News Weibo counterattack Taiwan President Li Ching Te's remarks calling for Taiwan independence is a dead end, the reunification of the motherland is unstoppable, sparking many Taiwan celebrities to support cross-strait unification. Although J. Zhou does not have a Weibo account, his past statement of We Are Chinese was found, and after being exposed by the fan page Political Enthusiasm, netizens responded. J. Zhou became the focus of discussion, and the attitude of celebrities on cross-strait issues sparked widespread debate. News title, Shocking Cancer Diagnosis Leads to Hospitalization for Chemotherapy Xiao Tong grimly exposes severe hair loss, bruising, almost time for shaving. Publish date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Key points, sex writer Xiao Tong, Yang Maihui, publicly reveals being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, requiring up to 12 rounds of chemotherapy after surgery. She disclosed severe side effects after chemotherapy, including nausea, loss of appetite, sensitive skin, extreme drowsiness, easy bruising, and severe hair loss. Despite the severe side effects, she chooses to bravely face them, considering them insignificant compared to life and death. News headline, citizens from 15 counties and cities joined forces in Operation Blue Bird to take to the streets to protect democracy today. Main stage in Taipei exposed. Release time, May 28, 2024. Information reference, FTV News. News highlights, the Legislative Yuan's review of the Congressional Reform Bill triggered fierce conflicts, and 100,000 citizens once again gathered outside the legislative Yuan to protest. The 528 Taiwan Bluebird action was launched in 15 counties and cities across Taiwan, including Taipei, Shinchu, Taichung, Tainan, Kaohsiung, and other places. People spontaneously gathered to express their opposition to the power expansion bill. The series of activities took place in public spaces and important places in various places, calling for the defense of democratic values. Li Qing expressed his gratitude to every participant in protecting democracy. News headline, Is the good weather coming soon? Heavy rain in 17 counties and cities due to frontal rain bombs. Lin Jiakai revealed that from this day forward the water vapor will decrease. Release time, May 28, 2024. Information reference, FTV News. News highlights, Today, 
the entire Taiwan was affected by a front and was hit by rain bombs in the morning. More than half of the counties and cities issued special reports of heavy rain, especially in the western half, which was accompanied by lightning strikes and strong gusts, which caught many office workers off guard. Meteorological anchor Lin Jiakai pointed out that the rain will decrease starting tomorrow, but there will still be local rain. The good weather will only last for two days. Unstable weather will usher in from Friday, so we need to pay attention to heavy thunderstorms. The Meteorological Administration's special report covers 17 counties and cities, including Shinchu, Mili, Taichung, and other places, reminding the public to beware of lightning strikes and risks in mountainous areas. Title, Official Confirmation Kuma posts intimate bed photo on 520, both agents respond. Release date, May 28, 2024 Source, EBC News Key points, the recent speculation surrounding Kuma and Li Yu has reignited. Kuma posted a photo on his 520 story showing a woman's back, tagging Li Yu's account, hinting at a romantic relationship. The two have collaborated multiple times, including in music videos and singles, and have always claimed to be just good friends despite rumors. Although they have been discreet about their relationship, Kuma previously mentioned his attitude towards romance, emphasizing his focus on music creation. Regarding their current status, Kuma's record company stated they would share through their work, while Li Yu's agent hoped they would continue to excel in their creative endeavors. Title, 25-year-old acting station chief commits suicide by gunshot after calling girlfriend, family rushes north. Release date, May 28, 2024. Source, EBC News. Key points, a 25-year-old acting station chief surnamed Lin from Zodong Zinken police station in Shinchu committed suicide by gunshot in the office area. The cause of death is still under investigation. Preliminary police inquiries have ruled out the possibility of homicide. Lin graduated from the 36th class of the police academy in 2019, known for his optimistic personality and proactive work ethic. It is understood that he expressed his distress to his girlfriend over relationship issues before taking his own life. The police will assist the family in handling the aftermath, and colleagues express surprise and sadness. Title, NBA legend Walton passes away. League commissioner, he redefined the center. Release date, May 28, 2024. Source, EBC News. Key points. NBA legend Bill Walton has passed away at the age of 71, sparking mourning from current NBA stars. Walton, a two-time NBA champion, played for the Portland Trail Blazers, San Diego Clippers, now Los Angeles Clippers, and Boston Celtics during his 13-year career. He was named NBA Finals MVP, rebounding leader and shot-blocking leader in 1977, also making multiple All-NBA and All-Star appearances. After retiring in 1987 due to persistent injuries at 34, Walton attempted a comeback in 1990, which ended unsuccessfully due to severe injuries. In 1993, he was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, with his number 32 jersey retired by the Portland Trail Blazers. Family members announced his passing on Monday, stating that Walton passed away in the company of loved ones. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver paid tribute, saying Walton was a unique figure who redefined the role of the center. Silver recalled Walton's love for life, positive attitude and willingness to share wisdom and warmth with others. News title Smoking addiction for three years. 17-year-old high school student develops blood clots, feet turn black, risk of amputation if delayed. Published date, May 27, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points, a 17-year-old high school student developed inflammation and blood clots due to smoking, almost facing the fate of amputation, but was saved after emergency treatment. Doctors point out that the trend of smoking among teenagers is getting younger, especially with the rising use of e-cigarettes urging parents to be vigilant. The World Health Organization warns that e-cigarettes are equally harmful and do not help quit smoking. Taipei City has banned e-cigarettes entirely and prohibits their sale within 50 meters of schools, with violators facing fines. It urges teenagers to stay away from tobacco, and parents should pay more attention. If addicted, seeking professional help to quit smoking is advised. News title, Heavy Rain Strikes Tainan. Tree falls on New Market Road 1, smashing two cars, rear trunk forms V-shape. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points, the Central Weather Bureau issued a heavy rain warning affecting several areas, including Shinchu County, Shinchu City, Meili County, Taichung City, Yunlin County, Chi County, Tainan City, Kaohsiung City, and Pingduang County, with possible localized heavy rain or torrential rain. A tree fell on New Market Road 1 in Tainan, smashing the rear trunk of a sedan into a V-shape. Police rushed to the scene to direct traffic, and no injuries were reported. Citizens reminded others to be careful via social media posts. News title, Kuomintang and People First Party Guard Legislative Yuan, 
Secret Conversation About Kaohsiung Election Blue-White Cooperation Fully Recorded Published Date, May 28, 2024 Source, TVBS News Key Points, The Legislative Yuan continued its review of parliamentary reform bills today with Kuomintang and People First Party legislators guarding the entrance last night. However, a conversation between Kuomintang legislator Lin Kuachin and Blue Party legislator Kei Jian about the blue-white cooperation in the 2026 Kaohsiung mayoral election was fully recorded by the media. Lin even said, we are talking in secret, and requested silence, but the conversation was already being broadcast live. The conversation included remarks like Kuomintang can still win without a party and it's best for Kaohsiung borough chiefs to run without a party affiliation, sparking discussions. News title, Kuomintang encircles Lai Ching Ti. Eric Chu takes action to reverse parliament, orders one ultimate move to counter Democratic Progressive Party. Published date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points, the legislative Yuan's review of the parliamentary power reform bills has triggered questioning from the Green Camp, intensifying conflicts and sparking street protests again. The Green Camp has prepared for follow-up maneuvers such as reconsideration, constitutional interpretation and temporary sanctions, and has focused on the unconstitutional and abusive bills proposed by the Blue Camp. The Blue Camp has strengthened its rhetoric on the media battlefield and guarded against the Green Camp inciting the masses to take to the streets. The Kuomintang launched the I'm Not in Qingdao East campaign, strengthening its rhetoric and establishing the Parliamentary Reform Truth Disclosure Platform within three days, instructing Blue Camp legislators to share widely, allowing the public to understand the content and process of the bills. Additionally, Kuomintang legislator and legislative Yuan Judicial and Legal Committee convener Wu Zongxian has conducted a simulation of the Democratic Progressive Party's expected parliamentary reform bill's constitutional implications. The People First Party pointed out the Green Camp's self-contradictory past claims and established a parliamentary reform clarification zone and a simplified version of the reform on the cloud to restore the truth. It's not just about winning votes but also winning public opinion. Blue Camp Party officials analyzed that Lai Ching Te currently faces the pressure of the three minorities, including not winning over half of the presidential votes, the parliament being a minority party, and having a minority in local governance. The quickest way to overcome these disadvantages is the local elections in two years. This time, strongly paralyzing parliamentary proceedings and inciting public dissatisfaction to form a large-scale social movement is simply to influence the voting behavior of young people or swing voters. The Kuomintang cannot be taken lightly. The passage of the parliamentary reform bill this time is not the end of the war but the beginning of a new battleground requiring the strengthening of social forces until 2026. News title, Flat Croissant Craze Sweeps South Korea, Taiwan Bakeries Also Jump on the Bandwagon. Many dismiss it as a fad. Published time, May 28, 2024. Source, Ida Day News Cloud. Key points, recently, there has been a surge in popularity of flat croissants in the South Korean dessert scene, even influencing the Taiwanese market, with them being sold in convenience stores and bakeries. However, one netizen is skeptical, considering this variation of the croissant as cult-like, arguing that the original soft texture should be enjoyed, and expressing confusion about the flattening process. Many netizens share similar sentiments, viewing it as following the trend blindly, while expressing a preference for the original croissant texture. Despite some individuals showing openness towards flat croissants, the majority remain firm in their belief that the authentic croissant experience is the most delicious. News title, 4 Telltale Signs of Poor Liver Health Doctor, when the liver changes, so does the person. Published time, May 28, 2024. Source, Ida Day News Cloud. Key points, according to data from the Ministry of Health and Welfare, 11,888 people in Taiwan have died from liver cancer and liver disease, making liver cancer the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the country. Dr. Huang Xian points out that observing four specific characteristics can help detect early signs of liver dysfunction, yellowing of the skin, increased spider nevi, abdominal swelling or limb edema, and thickened, reddened palms. Poor liver function can lead to jaundice, spider nevi, edema, and abnormalities in the hands, which should be promptly treated. Huang reminds individuals to pay attention to subtle changes in their bodies to prevent and treat liver disease. Headline, boost in tourism opening expected by end of May, tourism stocks leading with six stocks hitting limit up. Release time, May 28, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key points, Chairman of the General Chamber of Commerce, HSU Shubo revealed that with stable cross-strait economic and trade relations, good news regarding tourism opening is expected, which will help increase flights and tourist numbers. Boosted by this news, tourism stocks showed strong performance, with several stocks surging, creating a positive market atmosphere. The anticipated resumption of cross-strait tourism is expected to stimulate revenue growth in the aviation and travel agency sectors. A positive response from the mainland is also anticipated to improve hotel occupancy rates in Taiwan, bringing positive effects to the overall tourism market. 
Headline, Sweet Exchange Rate Japanese Yen against Taiwan Dollar hits 0.2085, setting a new 34-year low. Release Time, May 28, 2024 Source, Economic Daily News Key Points, The recent appreciation of the new Taiwan Dollar has intensified the depreciation of the Japanese Yen against it, reaching a new 34-year low. Banks suggest exchanging cash for Japanese Yen but also advise using credit cards for payments. With the Japanese yen trading around 157 against the US dollar, fluctuations in the new Taiwan dollar against the US dollar have affected the Japanese yen's exchange rate against the new Taiwan dollar. The Bank of Japan is closely monitoring inflation expectations, and the recent decline in Japan's core CPI to 2.2% in April makes achieving the 2% inflation target challenging. Although the Ministry of Finance of Japan is prepared to address excessive volatility in the yen, it will not intervene in its direction of appreciation or depreciation. Headline, Evergreen Shareholders Meeting CEO Wu Guanghui, global shipping market facing more severe capacity shortages than in April. Release time, May 28, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key points, Wu Guanghui, CEO of Evergreen Marine Corp., pointed out at the shareholders' meeting that the global shipping market is facing more severe capacity shortages, with shortages of containers emerging. Customers are asked to help increase container turnover rates, and warnings have been issued about the continued impact of the Red Sea crisis and geopolitical changes. Although the IMF forecasts global economic growth in 2024, with strong economic performances from the US, Europe, and China, geopolitical conflicts such as the Russia-Ukraine war, Middle East conflicts, Red Sea crisis, and changes in US policies may still affect global economic growth. Evergreen Marine emphasizes risk management and adjustments in long-term contracts and the North American route to mitigate impacts. Headline, Yulon Shareholders Meeting, EPS of 4.63 yuan last year, Yan Shen Lilian, Luxgen N7 to open orders to the public. Release time, May 28, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key points, Yan Chen Lilian, chairman of Yulon Group, emphasized at the shareholders' meeting that Luxgen, under its brand, launched pre-orders for the N7 electric vehicle, accumulating over 10,000 orders in a short period. Delivery began at the end of March this year, and it became the champion of electric vehicle sales in Taiwan in April. In June, a new round of member recruitment will be launched and it is expected to achieve an annual sales volume of over 10,000. The opening of Yulon City, the largest complex shopping mall in New Taipei, during the opening period, recorded more than 70,000 visits in a single day and has become the core of a one-day living circle in Zindian, bringing more profits to the company. Title, Can One Phone Call Mobilize a Million People? Mr. 486 Challenges Guan Yu, Stop Bluffing, I'll Call You Big Brother If You Can Mobilize 10,000 People. Release Date, May 28, 2024. Source. Set News. Highlights, the joint proposal of the Kuomintang, KMT, and People First Party, PFP, on parliamentary reform has raised public concerns about backroom deals and expanded powers, leading to the contempt for Congress nationwide campaign. Social media influencer Guan Yu claimed he could mobilize a million people with one phone call, but was challenged by e-commerce entrepreneur Mr. 486 Chen Yancheng to demonstrate it on Sunday. Former Daowen City Councilor Wang Hao found Guan Yu's remarks puzzling, considering them exaggerated. Netizens also expressed their opinions on social media platforms. Title, Huang Jensun returns to Taiwan and must visit this hair salon for haircuts. Business spirit ignites, urging boss to tag me in the post. Release date, May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, NVIDIA CEO Huang Jensun visited the Manor Salon hair salon during his visit to Taiwan on the 26th, which has become a must-visit place for him every time he comes to Taiwan. Ray is his preferred hairstylist. Despite Wang's busy schedule, he always makes time for a haircut during his visits, and the two have become friends. Ray described Wang as selfless, great, and magnanimous, grateful for his support, and believed Wang's kindness surpassed ordinary understanding. This friendship also touched Wang, who admired Ray's modesty yet looked forward to his success. Title, Li Ching Te Assumes Office Tiny Land One Detail Keeps Up With The Times, Netizens Praise, So Thoughtful Release Date, May 28, 2024 Source, Set News. Highlights, after Li Ching Te and Xiao Meichen took office, the miniature model of the presidential office in Miniatures Museum of Taiwan has been updated from the former Tsai Ing-wen to Li Ching Te. Netizens exclaimed, Miniatures Museum is so thoughtful. The museum stated that after every four-year presidential election, they produce a 125th scale model of the incoming president and replace the figurines around May 20, allowing visitors to witness historic moments. Visitors are welcome to the museum. Title undergoes five-hour surgery to remove tumor. Shah Kaili reveals near-paralysis condition and astonishing medical expenses. Release date, 
May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, 52-year-old Sha Kaili underwent surgery in Taichung for an old back injury. Doctors discovered a large mass entangling nerve branches near the spinal cord, likely a tumor originating from the intervertebral disc or spinal nerve. The surgery was urgently switched to minimally invasive, successfully removing the tumor. He plans to return to Taichung for further medical consultation but worries about the surgery costs. The recent surgery cost him 150,000 NT dollars, with discounts from the doctor, yet he still faces future surgery expenses of around 3 million NT dollars. The surgery lasted 5 hours, and the removed mass was quite large. Doctors made efforts to avoid nerve damage or paralysis. Title, Get Ready to Strike It Rich in the Second Half of the Year. Four Zodiac Signs Welcome Good Fortune, Libra Profits from Investments, Cancer Enjoy Sweet Romance. Release Date, May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, Soho Network pointed out that four Zodiac Signs will encounter good fortune in the latter half of 2024. Aries will experience significant breakthroughs in their careers, demonstrating courage and determination in achieving success in the workplace, with their leadership abilities recognized. Cancer's love fortune will shine, with singles likely to meet their ideal partners and those in relationships deepening their bonds, leading to more harmonious family relationships. Libra's financial luck will prosper, with gains from investments and work income, and their social skills bringing more wealth opportunities. Capricorn will experience comprehensive development, with breakthroughs in career, love and finances. Diligence and perseverance will bring rich rewards, leading to a fulfilled and contented inner self, feeling the beauty and happiness of life. Title, Rumored Pregnancy with Wang Xiaofei's Child Flying back to Taipei this weekend, Mandy responds for the first time. Release date, May 28, 2024 Source, Set News Highlights, Following Wang Xiaofei's divorce from DHSU, he announced his successful engagement with girlfriend Mandy in late March and officially married on the 27th. Some netizens suspected that the bride Mandy, wearing a jumpsuit, had a slightly protruding abdomen, speculating if it was a shotgun marriage. However, Mandy denied it, stating it was just the effect of the fluffy clothing. Wang Xiaofei and Mandy decided to remarry in less than half a year of dating, officially getting married in Shanghai yesterday and sharing photos of their marriage certificate and sparkling ring on social media, announcing to the world that he has officially married Mandy. Title, This County Also Distributes Money for Dragon Boat Festival Eligible receives NT$1,500, remember to check your bank account on June 3rd. Publish time, May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, during this year's Dragon Boat Festival holiday, the Taichung city government will distribute NT$1,500 in consolation money to registered low-income households. Those eligible will receive the funds on June 3rd. The criteria for low-income households include being registered and residing in Taichung, having a family income below a certain amount, and limitations on real estate and personal property values. Required application documents include household registration, relevant proof documents, passbook copies and possibly household registration transcripts. Additionally, Taipei City, Keelung City, New Taipei City, Daowen City, Yulan County, Shinchu County, Miali County, Zhanghua County, Tainan City and Kaohsiung City have policies to distribute respect for elders allowances or consolation money for the Dragon Boat Festival, and eligible individuals can receive corresponding benefits. Title. Update on long-haired brother from Taichung MRT. Shows two long scars on face, netizens flood with well wishes, wishing for speedy recovery. Publish time, May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, in the Taichung MRT random stabbing incident on the 21st, passenger Su Chuixian was injured but bravely resisted and attempted to disarm the assailant, earning him the title of hero. He shared on INSTagram two clearly visible scars on his face, prompting netizens to express admiration and wishes for his speedy recovery, suggesting cosmetic methods to reduce the scars. In his temporary post, he shared news of having the stitches removed and humorously remarked that he can now only eat mini cream puffs. Netizens left encouraging messages, hoping his scars would fade, and wishing him a quick recovery. Title, Two-Year Feud Ends an Unexpected Encounter on Narrow Road Lu Yura Furious, refuses to share stage with Yang Heioru, Yang responds with 13 words. Published Time May 28, 2024. Source, Set News. Highlights, Lu Yura and Yang Heioru officially severed ties after Lu accused Yang of using her marriage for entertainment on social media. Recently, Lu Yura accepted a notification for the show Classmates Have Arrived only to find Yang Heioru present as well. Infuriated, she confronted the staff, leading to an apology from the production team and her departure. Yang Heioru responded, acknowledging the incident and stating she would not share the stage again. Lu Yura previously revealed on Miss O that Yang privately instigated discord between her and DHSU, leading to their rift. Title, 
is dividend distribution really important for Taiwan stock ETFs? Investment and stock selection are key. Publish date, May 28, 2024. Source, Far Eastern Economic Review. Key points. This article mainly discusses the importance of dividend distribution in stock investments. Through a conversation with Tanru, the author reflects on their preconceived notion about dividends. Tanru points out that choosing the right investment targets is more important than whether they offer dividends, and emphasizes that without reinvesting dividends, the compounding effect cannot be realized. She compares Berkshire Hathaway stocks with the S&P 500 index, demonstrating that even with minimal performance differences, the presence or absence of dividends still has a significant impact on investments. The article also suggests that dividends should be reinvested rather than spent to achieve the compounding effect. Finally, it emphasizes the importance of considering growth when selecting stocks, avoiding overtrading, and handling funds prudently to ensure long-term success. Title, Moldy Whoppers at Burger King Make People Eat More Why Do Brands with Flaws Become More Likeable? Published date, May 3, 2024 Source, Far Eastern Economic Review Key Points Brands that dare to show imperfections demonstrate authenticity and uniqueness. For example, Starbucks' handwritten misspelled names increase customer interaction, Burger King's display of moldy food highlights the absence of artificial preservatives, Ikiran Raman's design of individual seating allows customers to enjoy a unique experience, Blue Bottle Coffee advocates for hand-drip coffee, emphasizing savoring slowly, and old-fashioned eateries retain their original appearance, attracting customers seeking authentic food. These flaws become the unique selling points of brands, highlighting their authenticity and uniqueness. Title, Taiwan 9th Graders, Lost AI Indigenous People Publish Date, May 28, 2024 Source, Far Eastern Economic Review Key Points This article delves into various issues related to Taiwan's education and industrial development, reflecting the concerns and disappointments of many about the current situation. Education is indeed a crucial factor influencing the mindset and capability development of the younger generation, while the industry is a key driving force for a country's future development. The education issues mentioned in the article, especially the lack of innovation and entrepreneurial spirit, pose obstacles to Taiwan's future competitiveness and development potential. Taiwanese youth may rely more on technological applications and may not develop sufficient innovation and problem-solving abilities. This puts Taiwan at a disadvantage in international competition. Meanwhile, in terms of industrial development, especially in the digital field, Taiwan does have tremendous potential. However, translating these potentials into actual industrial development is a challenge. Apart from educational system issues, other factors such as policy environment, funding support, entrepreneurial atmosphere, etc., need improvement and perfection. Overall, this article raises some very important issues that require deep reflection and discussion. Solving these problems requires the joint efforts and cooperation of the government, educational institutions, and industries. Hopefully, in the future, Taiwan can make greater progress and breakthroughs in education and industrial development. Title, How Does Generative AI Impact the Financial Industry? McKinsey, Banking Industry Profits Expected to Increase by 600 Billion. Published Date, May 28, 2024. Source, Far Eastern Economic Review Key Points A McKinsey report indicates that generative AI, Gen AI, could significantly impact Taiwan's banking industry, potentially creating an additional profit of 360 billion to 600 billion NT dollars annually. Globally, Gen AI could generate a value of 2.6 trillion to 4.4 trillion US dollars annually, with the banking industry's potential value reaching 200 billion to 340 billion US dollars. However, only 75% of Taiwanese banks have piloted Gen AI and it has not been scaled up. The report emphasizes that Gen AI will reduce costs, increase business income, and strengthen brand image, expecting large-scale adoption within one to three years. It urges banking industry players to invest boldly, focusing not only on brand reputation but also on creating value for business departments. Title, Heavy Rain Hits Mealy. Two underpasses flooded, cars stranded, floodwaters in Tufen, Father Carries Child. Date published, May 28, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, heavy rain in Mealy caused flooding in underpasses, with water reaching 80 centimeters in two locations in Zinan, trapping cars. In Tufen, a community road had 10 centimeters of water, leading to scenes of fathers carrying children to school. A junior high school campus in Zhonghua was flooded, necessitating the use of water pumps. On Highway 61 in Zhonghua, a container truck crashed into a guardrail and overturned, with the driver sustaining minor injuries and blocking traffic lanes. Title, Torrential Rain Bombards. Flooding at National Freeway No. 1 in Howley Section, two vehicles trapped, tow trucks rushed. Date published, May 28, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, 
heavy rain caused flooding at the northbound Hali exit of National Freeway No. 1 in central Taiwan, trapping two vehicles. Police managed traffic and assisted in moving the vehicles, considering closing the exit before the rain stopped and waters receded. The Central Weather Bureau forecasts a decrease in rainfall in central and southern regions on the evening of the 28th, but another front is expected to affect Taiwan on Friday, with rain likely until Sunday. A fallen tree caused minimal damage. Title, Divergent Views Between Owner and Customers Noodle Shop Reveals Cost Formula, Sparks Debate Date Published, May 28, 2024 Source, CTV News Key Points, A Noodle Shop Located in Taipei's East District Known for selling a bowl of preserved vegetable shredded pork dry noodles for as much as NT$80, sparked discussion. While customers believed the price yielded hefty profits, the owner posted a notice titled Two Kinds of Math in Taiwan revealing actual costs, including rent, personnel, etc., indicating meager profits after deducting expenses. The owner's transparency triggered debate, highlighting the challenges in the restaurant industry and the disparity between prices and costs. The owner mentioned that ordering only a bowl of noodles might result in losses, relying on side dishes and soup to increase revenue. Faced with labor shortages and inflation, operators must consider survival strategies. Title, Last Works of Korean Actor Lee Sun Kyun Announced Two posthumous films set for release. Date published, May 28, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, Korean actor Lee Sun Kyun, known for his strong performances, passed away in December last year, leaving a letter suggesting suicide. However, his two unfinished films, Escape, Project Silence and The Land of Happiness, are set for release in July and August this year, allowing fans to see his final works. These films became posthumous due to Lee's involvement in a drug scandal, leading to indefinite postponement. Escape, Project Silence depicts people trapped on a collapsing bridge amid dense fog, engaging in a life-and-death struggle with mutated military experimental dogs, scheduled for July release. The other film, The Land of Happiness, starring Lee Sun Kyun, Cho Yung Sok, and Ryu Jun Yal, tells the story of the trial surrounding the 1979 presidential assassination, set for August release. Lee Sun Kyun became embroiled in a drug and extramarital affair scandal in October 2023, which tarnished his image as a family man. Following a two-month investigation, his wife discovered a suicide note on December 26, and Lee was found dead in a car at Woleiwei Park in Jiangnogu, Seoul, on December 27, apparently having died from carbon monoxide poisoning. News headline, the video of a female thief breaking into a mansion went viral. My trousers got caught on the spikes of the fence, and I was left half-naked hanging in the air for a minute and a half. Release time, May 28, 2024. Data reference, United News. News highlights, a video went viral on Chilean social networking sites, recording the absurd scene of a female thief trying to climb over the iron gate fence of a mansion to steal. Her trousers got caught on the spikes of the fence, causing her to struggle in the air, and her lower body was exposed because she was not wearing underwear. Finally, she was able to escape by taking off her shoes and pants, and then put on her jacket as pants to continue committing the crime. Although the house was searched, no valuables were found. The accomplices fled the scene alone after seeing the female thief in distress. Police investigation is ongoing. News headline, shocked. My sister was swept away and died in a typhoon. Actress Tu Zhang's 16th year of tragedy. Release time, May 27, 2024. Data reference, United News. News highlights. Xiao Yufen, a former member of the Southern Taiwan Girls, released a new album Love Story last year and re-entered the music scene. She mentioned that the love between her family members left behind regrets. Her sister was swept away by a storm 16 years ago, and she still felt deeply reluctant to let go. Her sister disappeared after get off work that day, and her family was worried and anxious. Firefighters found her sister in the cave, but they did not see her for the last time, which made Xiao Yufen miss her endlessly. Her sister often appears in her dreams and becomes her guardian angel. This tragedy changed her view of family, and she decided to return to her hometown to be with her family and get along with her strict but loving mother again. Title, New Tactic from Blue Camp Allows Han Kuo Yu to Chair Proceedings Smoothly, Momentary Relief Amidst Chaos. Publication Time, May 28, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key Points, Nationalist Party, KMT, Legislators Suddenly Raised Black Cloth and Chanted Slogans, Leaving Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, Legislators Uncertain How to Respond. The Green Camp began shouting against expansion of power, against closed-door deals, causing confusion. Han Kuo Yu quietly entered and climbed onto the chairman's platform, reminding DPP legislators to speak. With the situation chaotic, Huang Sufang delayed going on stage, and Han Kuo Yu mentioning Wu Siyao's birthday eased tensions. Subsequently, DPP legislators became angry at KMT's criticism of blocking the Regenerative Medicine Act, 
leading to disputes below the stage. Chu Yiying was so angry that she went to Luo Qichang and repeatedly hit the mobile phone he was broadcasting from, causing chaos at the scene. Title, Married to Joseph Chang for over two years, Vivian HSU reveals pregnancy is a surprise and discloses wedding progress. Publication time, May 27, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key points, Vivian HSU, married to Joseph Chang for over two years, is always asked about wedding plans and personal progress whenever she appears. She revealed that although there have been discussions about the wedding, it's still in the early stages. She hopes for an outdoor romantic wedding in the fall but is unsure due to work commitments. With many friends, she attended a birthday party with Chen Mei Feng. Family members are concerned about wedding preparations, with aunts needing six months' advance notice for dieting. Regarding pregnancy, she believes in planning but also embraces change, stating, we'll go with the flow. Title, Bullied Despite Academic Excellence, Male Star Lin Ruu Exposes School's Indifference to Bullying, Vows to Persevere. Publication Time, May 28, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key Points, Lin Ruu, formerly a member of the Southern Taiwan Girls Group, has become a new singer in the music industry. Courageously revealing being bullied by classmates at school with teachers and principals turning a blind eye, he firmly states that he will persevere regardless of the challenges. Through his new song The Sweet Happiness, he hopes to encourage everyone not to give up, as surpassing oneself leads to happiness. Despite excelling academically, he faced bullying and ostracism from classmates, enduring physical and emotional harm. However, he refused to give up and maintained the top position in his class. Currently a high school English teacher and a renowned singing instructor, he guides teenagers with love and music. Title, Must Read. Fire Safety, 7 Common Deadly Mistakes Listed by Fire Department. Published Date, May 28, 2024. Source, News. Summary. A fire broke out in the Clear Sky Plaza Community Building on Sayun Road, Eastern District of Shinshu City, on the night of the 26th. It took over 10 hours for firefighters to rescue 351 trapped residents. Concerned citizens worry about how to self-rescue during a fire. The Tainan City Fire Bureau previously advocated correcting misconceptions about surviving fires, such as the principles of escaping upwards or downwards, adopting a low posture when descending stairs, and not evacuating in the presence of fire and thick smoke. Common misconceptions about fire escape include, descending for safety, closing doors when encountering high temperatures and thick smoke, adopting a low posture when descending stairs, avoiding evacuating in the presence of fire and thick smoke, and avoiding using bathrooms as shelters. Title, Too Hot to Handle Drummer in Dragon Boat Race Unleashes White Bikini, Netizens Can't Help But Bleed Noses. Published Date, May 28, 2024. Source, News. Summary. A photo of a female drummer wearing a white bikini in a dragon boat race has sparked discussion online. She removed her outerwear due to the hot weather, instantly becoming the center of attention. The photo circulated widely on Facebook, with the drummer named Yuo. She later responded on IG, thanking everyone for their support and expressing her enjoyment of participating in the race. Netizens jokingly commented that her bikini became the VIP seat on the dragon boat, even suggesting that the boat was faster than the high-speed rail. Title, Variable Frequency Air Conditioner Racks Up Over 10,000 NT Dollars in Electricity Bills in Two Months. Reveals Secret Cooling Method for Fixed Frequency Air Conditioner, Bill Doesn't Exceed 2,000 NT Dollars. Published Date, May 28, 2024. Source, News. Summary. With summer approaching, facing high air conditioning bills, the YouTube channel Air Conditioning Classroom offers money-saving tips. A household's electricity bill soared to 12,000 NT dollars due to using a variable frequency air conditioner, sparking discussion. Experts pointed out that generic brand air conditioners are less efficient and recommended purchasing fixed frequency air conditioners. A technician shared his experience of living in a sixth floor apartment and using a scrapped window type fixed frequency air conditioner. His electricity bill was less than 2,000 NT dollars for two months, cheaper than a variable frequency air conditioner. He suggested setting the air conditioner to the highest airflow and lowest temperature, adjusting the airflow after the room cools down to reduce compressor load. For those with limited finances, using a fixed frequency air conditioner temporarily until upgrading to a variable frequency air conditioner is advised. Title, 8 Brave Firefighters Sacrificed in 1.5 Years Tearful Firefighter Pleads, How Many Deaths Will It Take to Wake Up Government Concern? Published Date, May 28, 2024 Source, News Summary the Time Power Shinshu City Council faction pointed out fire safety flaws in the Clear Sky Plaza fire during a press conference, emphasizing the hardship and sacrifice of firefighters. A firefighter emotionally expressed that within a short span of 1.5 years, eight seniors had died, urging the government to prioritize firefighter safety. Time Power called on the government to provide better equipment, 
such as tracking devices and high-capacity air tanks, to prevent similar tragedies. A firefighter deeply mourned the loss of their fallen comrades and hoped for government improvement in firefighter rights to prevent similar tragedies from recurring. Title, Zhang Yingying responds to Wang Xiaofei's marriage to someone else. Still watching the show, 10,000 people watch live. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, Eda Day Star Cloud. Key points Chinese renowned culinary figure Wang Xiaofei announced his official marriage with Taiwanese girlfriend Mandy, Ma Xiaomei, on the 27th. On the same day, his ex girlfriend Zhang Yingying talked about her feelings during a live broadcast. Zhang Yingying had previously promised a future of marriage and multiple children with Wang Xiaofei. However, Wang Xiaofei's remarriage with Mandy has sparked curiosity among netizens about her feelings. Zhang Yingying responded casually, saying, Still watching the show? My mood is especially perfect, sisters especially perfect. She was conducting product promotions while wearing a facial mask during the live broadcast, managing her affairs busily, with an online audience reaching up to 10,000 viewers. Title, Production Budget for Ultimate Class 6 Reaches 70 Million. Wang Dongcheng promises funding, then sudden withdrawal. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, Eat a Day Star Cloud. Key points Wang Dongcheng planned to raise funds for the production of Ultimate Class 6, arousing anticipation. However, after a hiatus of three years, the project suddenly stalled. Although it was previously announced to commence before 2025, Wang Dongcheng's career shifted towards mainland China, rendering the project unfeasible. Despite his intention to scout for new talents, he had to shelve the filming plans due to busy schedules. The original budget for Ultimate Class 6 was estimated at 70 to 80 million NT dollars. Wang Dongcheng initially pledged to contribute funds and serve as a producer but eventually withdrew from the project. Currently, Wang Dongcheng is working in mainland China, engaging in various performances, which hinder the progress of the filming project. With changes in the original cast of Ultimate Class, including some actors passing away or no longer participating, the future of filming is also fraught with uncertainties. Title, S Light returns to Taipei Main Station Business District. Wu Minjia, 800 Ping medium-sized store opens in September. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Key Points S. Light Living Chairman Wu Minja announced today that a medium-sized store covering 800 pings will open in September at the intersection of Zhongxia West Road and Gongyuan Road in Taipei. The store will include an S. Light bookstore and dining complex, marking S. Light's return to the Taipei Main Station Business District. The building is owned by Nobel Eye Clinic and is expected to bring substantial profits to S. Light. Due to the challenges posed by the pandemic, S. Light withdrew from the K-Zone underground street of Taipei Main Station in 2023, and in 2020, it adjusted its metro store on the south side of Taipei Main Station, retaining only the shopping mall section. Wu Minja also mentioned that the largest S Light store in southern Taiwan, along with the King of Barbecue in the South Carbon Kozo Mari, was originally scheduled to open by the end of the year but has been postponed to 2025 due to construction schedule issues. At the shareholders' meeting, Wu Minja pointed out that Taiwan and Hong Kong's physical retail channels performed well last year, with terminal revenue increasing by 28%, and this year continued to grow with terminal revenue increasing by 14%. She also mentioned that S-Light Hotel was close to breaking even last year and is expected to contribute profits for the first time this year. Title, Why are Microsoft, Apple and NVIDIA venturing into Southeast Asia? Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Key points, Recently, Microsoft's CEO announced the establishment of AI infrastructure in Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand while Apple and Elon Musk's Starlink are also engaging with Indonesia. NVIDIA plans to establish a research and development center in Vietnam. The investments of these tech giants in Southeast Asia reflect the region's importance and development potential. The relocation of the Wall Street Journal's Asian headquarters from Hong Kong to Singapore indicates Singapore's rise as the new hub of Asia. For Taiwan, President Lai ching te proposed establishing the Asia-Pacific Operations Center to redefine its future positioning. While political changes unfold in Singapore, the economic and technological developments of Southeast Asian countries have become a global focus, bringing attention and investment opportunities for global enterprises. Title, Chen Yi Joins Swag. Invites show low for real action, shyly says, Xiang Xiang, whatever you want, I'm willing. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Key points, Internet personality Chen Yi announces her entry into the adult content creation platform Swag, dubbing herself the new generation erotic leader. At a press conference, she wears a low-cut red dress, expressing her openness to intimate activities and revealing a cooperation fee reaching six figures. She also extends an invitation to show low to participate, promising no limits in the live broadcast, which may involve group activities. Chen Yi shows fondness for show low, 
praising his good reputation and willingness to accommodate any requests. When asked about Wu Chengxian as a potential partner, she hesitantly declines. Addressing criticisms from netizens regarding her remarks about another celebrity, she clarifies her support for the adult industry and does not rule out collaborating with others. Title, Jessica Shows Off Killer Legs at 101, Worries About Looking Mean. Publication Date, May 28, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. Key Points, Jessica, former main vocalist of the Korean girl group Girls' Generation, attends a Taiwanese fashion brand Ms. My endorsement event at Taipei 101. Donning a black sparkling short dress, she expresses concerns about appearing stern or severe. She reveals her mother as her fashion icon, influenced by her mother's attire and fashion magazines. Endorsing Ms. My contact lenses and hair products, she shares her eyewear choices and usage habits. She meets up with Elvis Shio, praising Taiwan's delicious cuisine and plans to leave Taiwan after the event. Regarding hair care, she favors Ms. My hair products effects and recommends completely blow-drying hair before sleeping. Title, May Day's Ashen saying Taiwan must establish a nation in 1996. Footage revealed. Publication date. May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, May Day's Ashen inadvertently referred to us Chinese during a concert in Beijing, sparking dissatisfaction among Taiwanese fans. Recently, netizens uncovered footage of them singing Taiwan must establish a nation in 1996 under the name So Band, reigniting controversy. Taiwanese netizens expressed disappointment and accused May Day of betraying Taiwan. In response, the Ministry of Culture stated that artists' statements are often made out of necessity while President Lai Ching Te urged understanding and pledged to protect the rights of cultural workers. Title, Female Idol Goes Into Hostessing to Support Child? Regular Customers Only and Surrounded by Muscular Men. Publication Date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, Japanese actress Kago Ai was accused of underage smoking and marrying a member of the underworld. Recently, she was rumored to be hostessing at a nightclub in Tokyo Harbor. Although details about the club were secretive, Paparazzi found evidence of her frequenting the club, allegedly working as a hostess. Reports suggested that Kago AI might have been rejected from entertainment jobs due to having to support two children and past negative news, including involvement in a scandal with the underworld. Although her agency denied involvement in hostessing, the incident sparked discussions, with many shocked and concerned about her usual outspoken style in the entertainment industry. Title, Golden Horse Award winner experiences domestic violence, husband stood on bed and trampled reveals real married life at press conference. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, the film Sauce Yard directed by Chen Kaij and starring Zhang Ziyi was screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Zhang Ziyi mentioned the domestic violence scenes in the film during a press conference, stating that although she had not personally experienced it, filming scenes where the actor Wang Chuanjun covered her face with a pillow and stomped on her on the bed made her feel fearful. She warned that verbal abuse and pua, pick-up artist, tactics were equally terrifying sometimes more so than physical abuse. Her remarks sparked discussions, with some praising her strong personality and emotional resilience, while others suggested that her relationship with Wang Feng might differ from her professional life. Title, Mainland Drama Goddess Involved in Accident, Seven Stitches on Face Raises Concerns About Facial Injury. Publication Date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, Mainland Actress Huang Riying suffered an accident while training for the new drama to Mountains and Seas, resulting in seven stitches on her face, shocking the public. The studio confirmed that the injury was accidental and stated that she had received professional treatment, with her condition being stable. However, the studio did not explicitly address whether her face was injured, causing fans to express worry and curiosity about the specific details of her injury. Title, Congratulations. Chen Zifeng promoted to father of two, joyfully shares family of three photo, tears of happiness shout, life is complete. Publication date, May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, Entertainer Chen Zifeng accompanied his wife Karen to the hospital yesterday for childbirth. At 4 a.m. this morning, they welcomed their son Long Long into the world, prompting tears of joy from Chen Zifeng, who exclaimed, Life is complete. Their son was born on May 28, with Chen Zifeng jokingly saying, 528, I want to announce. He specifically had his wife personally cut the umbilical cord for their son. Medical staff all agreed that the child resembled the father, leaving the wife feeling helpless, saying, the genes of the Chen family are too strong. He hopes that his daughter Liel gets along well with her younger brother and expressed gratitude for everyone's concern, stating that he would shoulder the responsibility of taking care of the family. Title, Who Was New Favorite Faces Mishap Begs Doctor for Urgent Treatment, Tragic Accident Exposed Publication Date, 
May 28, 2024. Source, TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Highlights, members of the Wave Live Electric Leopard Girls, the exclusive cheerleading team for the Taiwan Beer Yulon Lux Jindinos basketball team, have formed a new group called Mim Secret and will release their debut single My Black Eyes. Laughter revealed that she practiced singing every day before recording, but on the recording day, she had a severe cold and rushed to seek medical help, still completing the recording with full effort. Captain Xiao Feng was responsible for multiple singing sections, repeatedly re-recording to achieve the desired performance effect. Members feel that their debut fulfills their childhood dreams and hope that fans can have a different perception of them getting to know more about them.